Yeah, what we're building here is a uh, uh, 10 million gallon pre-stressed concrete tank. Uh, it is an equalization tank, which means that uh, all of uh, big storm events and heavy water areas will be pumped to this tank in order to free up capacity for the water and wastewater treatment facilities. We're building a 10 million gallon tank and in the past that was not possible just because of the amount of material and that you would need to structurally hold that water. Uh, so now what we do is we take a, 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 a diaphragm shell and then we take uh, shotcrete, which is essentially uh, high velocity concrete, which is we inject air and water at the hose and we shoot it uh, to, to make very high dense concrete. So what we're seeing right now is the uh, ACI certified nozzleman is applying like I said, about a half inch of bulk of the shotcrete on the co outside core wall. Uh, and as you can see, we have a finishing base of guys here that are waiting. Uh, once he finishes this area, we will roll to the left and this finishing base will then come in and start uh, brooming the actual outside core wall, prepping it for the next layer of the, of the shotcrete. So after we finish shooting shotcrete on the outside, we'll come in on the inside and shoot shotcrete on the inside diaphragm covering it. And then after that, we will begin as what these gentlemen are doing here now, they're starting to uh, uh, form up the dome form, which will we will then carry uh, a, basically a truss that goes from the outside wall to this first shoring tower. And then we will form that and then sheet it with plywood and then pour concrete on it. So it will be a all self-span, uh, self-contained dome at that point. Uh, once we've shot the outside core wall, formed the dome, uh, all the inside core wall is complete, then we will take this high tension wire, wrap it, uh, and basically uh, put the, the whole tank into, uh, into tension. And we'll squeeze the tank in so that the actual tank itself is designed to be full. Uh, so it, when it's empty stage, it's going to be kind of tight. And then when you actually uh, put fluid or, or water or whatever is going into it, it actually relaxes into its design state at that point. You know, engineering is you build it for the worst case scenario, not the best case. So our tanks, uh, when we're comparing to an elevated tank or a steel tank, uh, you know, our tanks have uh, gone through Cat 5 hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, uh, lots of things where, you know, good old fashioned uh, sturdy concrete is going to hold up. EQ basins have really become popular. We have built uh, probably, you know, 40, 50% of our business over the last uh, eight to 10 years has been EQ basins alone. So uh, it's not just Gallatin, it's everywhere that's having to address this problem to free up capacity for the water treatment plants.